Hey guys, I'm back again after a very long break. I have been extremely busy with work and work and work and family stuff and all that. So I've been taking a little bit of a break from YouTube, but I'm back at the moment. So I'm in my garden since the day is beautiful for once. It's been a month and a half of raining and no sun. And so finally today it was beautiful and I didn't have to work. So I said, let me come on here and tell you guys about the outcome of the book club list. So we have picked seven books and I'm going to let you know what those seven are. First was picked is of course the ever famous My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante. This you see everywhere online so you know what it's about. And yeah, so I don't really know if I'm happy about this or not. I did vote for it though, because I think I've got to, you know, sink my teeth in it and see what it's really all about. I've been seeing a lot of mixed reviews on this one, so I'm not really sure how that's gonna turn out, but okay. So, my brilliant friend. Next on the list, The Bees by Laline Paul, which I'm pretty happy about this one as well. I did vote for this one. And I have been, uh, pretty anxious to see what's inside so I don't know maybe I might crack and read it before the actual month that we're supposed to read it I think this is the third one we will be reading the second or third book we'll be reading so maybe October or November for this one next on the list I will put the book here it's uh, Saving Fish from Drowning by Amy Tan and as you know I have not read any Amy Tan so this will be my first one Hopefully it will be just as good as the Joy Luck Club because when you mention Amy Tan, everybody mentions right away the Joy Luck Club. So hopefully it will be just as good, if not better. I'm not really sure what it's about. And I think, I'm not sure if I voted for this one or not. I can't remember. Next on the list, Americana. So yes, Americana did get uh, picked, which I figured it would. Great story, I've already read it, but I think I might actually delve in and read it a second time. I don't think we'll be reading it in September or October or November, so this will probably be for next year, which should be a good time for me to reread Americana. So there, that's a good one, right? Next on the list that got picked is Family Life. This is by Achille Sharma. And the book just came today, and so here it is. Now this one, it says, for eight-year-old Ajay and his older brother Biru, life in Delhi in the late 1970s follows a comfortable, predictable routine. Bathing on the roof, queuing for milk, playing cricket in the street. Yet everything changes when their father finds a job in America. A land of carpets and elevators, swimsuits and hot water on tap. Life is exciting for the two brothers as they adjust to prosperity, girls, and 24-hour TV until one hot sultry day when everything falls apart. Okay, it says darkly comic family life is a story of a boy torn between duty and survival amid the ruins of everything he once knew. So yeah, I voted for this one and thank God it made it on the list. So yeah, I'm really happy about this one having uh, been picked. Next on the list, Jam on the Vine. So yeah, Jam on the Vine managed to make it uh, the cut. And I'm very happy about that. And yeah, so people seem to be very curious about this one and I'm really happy about it because I was afraid it wasn't gonna make it. Last but not least, Paris by Edward Rutherford. I'm really disappointed about this one being picked because as you know, I wasn't too much of a fan of it being picked. It's about 800 pages and I really wonder how many people are really going to actually read it cover to cover. But surprisingly enough, eight people voted for it. Eight. Oh Lord. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might have to get the audiobook to go along with it to just drive me through the book. So. Paris will be our first read of the school year of 2016-2017 which means that we will be reading it first so it will then be something I have to read during the summer in August 
or the very first two weeks of September. I'm not a fan of that because I feel like it's gonna ruin my reading uh, that I have planned and I'm not too happy about that. So I have asked around a few people to find out if they had read anything by Rutherford. I asked Steve over at Steve Donahue and he said, mm -mm, nope. Reviews that I've seen, nope, nope. Too much, too much, too much, too much packed into one book. So I don't know. We will see, uh, but I will figure out a way to read this 800 page book. Maybe I'll just do like 20 pages a day for the whole month of August or something like that. Which means I have to take this big chunky book on holiday with me. And I'm already taking a whole bunch of other books, but I don't want that one, you know, this 800 pa page, you know, brick to take on holiday when I'm already going to be taking maybe like 10 books or something like that on holiday with me. So I'm a little disappointed about that one being picked because I just, I just, yeah, I didn't really want to read it. Now, unfortunately, Till the Well Runs Dry did not get picked, but I'm not going to complain because Jam on the Vine got picked, so I'm happy about that. So that's all I have for you today. I will be back with a review because I have been reading slowly, but I have been reading. Yeah, I could come on and do a review of uh, Blackbirds if you're interested. So if you're interested in me doing a, a video review of Blackbirds, hit me up below and say yes, I want to see that video review. I have done a review of Blackbirds over on my blog on WordPress. So I will link it below in case that's enough for you. So that's all I have for you today, but I'll be back real soon with some more videos. Bye.